So this seems to be a very controversial topic and something people ask us about a lot. It's the very first time I'm ever seeing a game is here in Mexico. I'm pretty excited about this to be honest. We might have done a thing. Okay, open up. I know. I'm not really a sports gal. I'm sorry. Even in the U.S. I didn't watch football or anything like that. So, the very first time I'm ever seeing a game is here in Mexico. I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest. But any of these reactions that you're about to see, they're never before seen. Ever. Loose of here. <laughs> I'm Maddie. <Nadia. laughs> I'm Jordan. And we're Jen Green Jordan, you are required to answer this question as honestly as possible. What question? Who are you rooting for in this game? <laughs> Mexico, obviously. <laughs> That's super close to my face. Okay, so it's kind of funny. We're sitting here in the restaurant right now, and this half of the restaurant gets to see the far TV, which is like the up-to-date one, and then the other half of the restaurant has the other TVs, which is like a 30-second delay. So there is just a goal, and this side of the restaurant goes berserk, and then everyone else is silent, and then all of a sudden the TVs catch up. The other side of the restaurant's like, yeah! Wait, what? What the heck did we just miss? What the? <laughs> we were worried for a second. Germany had the ball in really good position right in front of the net, but then the dude kicked it 10 feet over the net. Good, good job, job, guy. Hit the top of the net. Woo. The game's almost over, but the crowd doesn't seem to be too lively at this place. So we're gonna go over here, see if we can find one with a more lively crowd. Over here is in Down Avenue to Chapultepec to see what we can find if there's a place anywhere, one of these bars or restaurants. Wish us luck. <laughs> Surprisingly, we got a seat here at Cervezaria Chapultepec. Probably the last two seats available. <laughs>
taking their shirt off. There are lots of abs. I don't mind. <laughs> so pretty much everyone thought Germany was going to win this. And I just noticed I showed the possession time. And Germany had 61% for Mexico to pull that off. With only 39%. That's pretty crazy. Clearly, less is more in this case. Behind me, we have the restaurant five minutes after the game has ended. Que pasó? <laughs> See the car here painted red, white, and green honking after the game. The coolest thing just happened, and this is such a great reminder of how big Mexico is, but how small it is at the same time. This is why. <laughs> We had just gotten started on our travels, on our tangerine travels. It was maybe, what, our third city that we'd been to in Mexico? Yeah, our third or fourth day traveling. <laughs> you have a bag on your foot. Okay. <laughs> we had gone to Ciudad Obregón. And keep in mind, at this time, we probably had 10 to 15 uh, subscribers maybe, on YouTube. Maybe 20, maybe. On second thought, we didn't put out a single video yet. We were only recording. In actuality, for very secret reasons that we cannot mention on camera, and we were not able to put out videos to this point, so there was a good, like, two or three weeks that we could not post any videos. We were recording videos, but we hadn't edited nor posted any yet, so we had a big fat zero subscribers at that time. <laughs> so we're staying in Ciudad Obregón with this really sweet couple and their adorable, adorable, adorable beagle. Oh, that's a cutie. Two months old, little beagle. Such adorable. Oh yeah, I know. Last thing you want to say hi. Okay, come on. There he is. Oh. Maybe still the cutest dog I've ever seen in Mexico. Sorry, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Who said that? <laughs> so, here we are today though, fast forwarding, this is now four months later or so, and we just ran into that same couple from Ciudad Obregón, here, here in, in Guadalajara. Guadalajara. How? How? What? Seriously, What though, a small world. This just seems kind of crazy because at this point we basically run into someone from Guadalajara just about every day who's seen our videos because we're still in the city and this is where we're making videos right now but to run into someone that we met months ago in a city that's at least a thousand miles away is kind of like insane insane <laughs> and awesome I really this totally made our day what a small country this is and it's such a big country my goodness we might have done a thing we got a bottle una botella de, de, de. Una botella de diamante. <laughs> it's Maestro. Well, I know it is Maestro de Bell, but it is uh, Maestro. Maestro de Bell Diamante. No, it's not the. I'm going crazy. It actually is Maestro de Bell Diamante is also here. There's another one called Tequilero or something. So I thought that's maybe what it was. But we got a bottle. It's half price here at Botanero, one of our favorite places to go here in the city. Here we have Maestro de Bell Diamante. It is a blend of Blanco, Reposado, and Añejo tequilas Aged blended one, two, together. Three years, respectively. Then it is filtered through charcoal to get this clear color. I thought it was filtered through diamonds, hence Diamante. Pouring it through the ice hole. <laughs> you ice hole. You ice hole. I just got it. <laughs> So after the half price discount, this is 475 pesos. If you want any mixers with it, you have to buy those separately and they're about 20 pesos a piece. Okay, open up. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jordan. If you, if you, if you actually get it in my mouth. Oh, get it in A little bit, a little bit. Okay. A Look. little bit? A little bit. He flared his nostrils. That means you're lying. No, it means I don't know how much is going to come out. This has forever been my favorite tequila. No bite whatsoever. You do not even need a chaser. Mm. So this seems to be a very controversial topic and something people ask us about a lot. And that's tipping. 
you okay? I was tipping. You were dipping. Not tipping. Jordan. Um, so yes, that's tipping on your bill at a restaurant or a bar. Some people say 10%, 15%, 20%, or pocket change even, which is less than 10% usually, I would imagine. Well, here, as we've been in Guadalajara, there are a lot of places here that have a suggested gratuity on the bill. And in our experience, it's between 10 to 12%, right? Usually closer to 10, but yeah. Usually Always closer to 10. So as you just saw, we got a bottle of Maestro de Bell Diamante and the not forced gratuity but the suggested on the bill is pretty much 10 percent in the u.s by comparison if you get bottle service somewhere it's almost a forced gratuity of 20 percent and that usually doesn't include the drinks as well sometimes it can be more than that depending on how many people you have at the table so that's our answer as of right now we usually tip 10 percent everywhere unless it was exceptional service i, I don't think that's totally true like earlier today we were at Cerveceria Chapultepec and we left 20% just because like we felt like they did more than 10% worth of work. And <laughs> the, the drinks and the food there is really, really cheap, so true. But as a general rule, if it's your average meal at your average restaurant, about 10%. Mm -hmm. I've heard that the standard tip in Mexico varies depending on what part of the country you're in. Do you find that to be true? Is, is it different where you're at? Yeah, so why don't you guys, if you could share in the comments, what do you think is the appropriate tip? And we are specifically asking people who do live here in Mexico or have lived here for a very long time because it's very common that we've found that people from the U.S. think you should just tip exactly what you're tipping there because you have the money to do so, but we don't agree with that because, excuse the weed whacker, <laughs> We've heard a lot from people in the U.S. that if you have the money, you should do 15 or 20 percent exactly like you're doing in the U.S. But what we have heard, the general sentiment across Mexico, and I think we can agree on this as well, is that if you're coming and doing that, then it's making people expect that kind of a tip here, whereas the local economy cannot support that. Your average person is not going to be tipping uh, 15 or 20 percent on the bill or in a cab or wherever else that you might be tipping so it kind of throws off the local economy but feel free to chime in with what you think these are just our opinions from traveling across Mexico to this point so we're kind of curious yeah and I think I've personally seen the tipping vary from place to place like I remember being at a restaurant in Puerto Vallarta and they had a suggested tip there and it was 15 percent so so with that in mind, Puerto Vallarta says someone, someone, Some, yes. <laughs> is a person who expects 15%, no, um, it's a place where it's primarily people coming from like the US, Canada and other places on vacation. So they're sort of adapting the area and adapting their customs and culture to that, to accommodate that. And if it makes sense and they're able to get 15%, I'm sure they're gonna jump on that and do that. Okay, so this is cheesy, but yes, this was my first ever soccer game that I've ever watched, and I'm pretty excited about it that it was here in Mexico. And Mexico won and beat and Germany. And Mexico won, yes, woo! <laughs> that was a shock. No one was expecting that. Mexico won, for heckin' sake. Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe to our channel to see more videos here in Mexico, and... <laughs> Gong, that the bell. Maestro de Mel. Gong, gong that de Mel. <laughs> if you want to see more videos and be the very first to know about it, we'll see, see you in tomorrow. the next one. <laughs>